Yeah. No, just anything could become a game. I'd really love yeah. to... I, I know I haven't explored this thought enough, but so many things could be made into games, and especially now. I'd love we, to he's, hear he's what you guys think. It's like great. games for the Islamic world. He's like, they have a lot of money, and yet there's like barely any games are being made for them. Yeah. Just like all these different... I, I guess that fits in nooks and crannies. Right. And then all this other crazy shit as well, which I forget most of now. I'm going to cool. have to rewatch it. Sweet. Cool. What's your... Okay, the, the one that, uh, final one, leading on to the singularity topic, so I'll, I'll talk about this for a bit, then we'll get into it, it is, uh, yeah, Google and the Search for the Future by the Wall Street Journal, they interviewed uh, Eric Schmidt, and uh, yeah, his quote was, dum -de 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 -de. I think most people don't want Google to answer their questions, they want Google to tell them what they should be doing next. And he's saying that, yeah, if you're walking down the street, because of the info Google's collected about you, we know roughly who you are, what you roughly care about, roughly who your friends are, and roughly what is within a square foot of you. So <laughs> Roughly. Roughly, yeah. So more like I, they, they know more about us than we do. Yeah. Now. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what, he's, uh, that's what he's actually saying, which raises like so many questions. I mean, it's something we've spoken a lot about, uh, recommendation mm. engines, that there should be something well there, there's going to be something that actually suggests what you should be doing I don't think it'll tell you like they don't want Google to tell you I think they want Google to suggest yeah because yeah. you hear this and says <laughs> why don't you do this this is a good idea and you'd go you're like no yeah. no yeah I'll do that that's Excellent. a good idea they like this we'll recommend yeah. them more things like this <laughs> and then you'll wake up one morning where you look at all of the things that Google's presented to you and it recommends you doing this you're like <laughs> yes I do want to do that and here's that. your schedule for today and that you're like I know there's something wrong with this, but I don't know what. <laughs> so I'm not sure if that's a bad thing or a good thing. I think it's neither. I, had, I mean, we still maintain control, but admittedly not pro proper, because it, it gives us the perfect answer. Yeah. There'll be a whole cult of I'm people. I'm really excited that they're like. actually mentioning this. Like, the main, yeah. like, Google has said, like, yeah, this is our plan. This is where we're going. Yeah. And this is kind of what we've been, like, to toot our own horns and, you know... Yeah, whatever for for what we've been talking about like recommendation engines it seems weird that um, we're always searching for information when it, it should be coming towards us give us information oh let's move on to the singularity topic then let's talk about recommendation yeah. engines oh yeah we may as well <laughs> don't, don't, don't. since it's going to go there anyway yeah yeah oh awesome <laughs> okay <laughs> where so do we start okay. we've talked about recommendation engines before but we should I know in light of this news we, what yeah well, I get a recommendation engine, I guess the most basic thing is what Schmidt was saying is that you get a, well, what you're saying, you get ideas presented you to you. Yeah. It gives you information, yeah. And this is, this is already, this will be pre sort of BCI, pre brain computer interface. Mm. So it's before it can actually, like there are those, all those studies where it's actually, it can predict what you want, what your decision will be up to seven seconds before you're consciously yeah, before you aware can. of it. Yeah. I mean, post that, like, fuck, you may as well just be like a, a brain in a vat. Yeah. Because it can just feed you before you even know you want it. But this is, is cool because this further. is happening. And well, see, it'll now. evolve onto the... But there already are recommendation systems out there at the moment. I mean, mm -hmm. you could say at its most basic level, TV is a recommendation engine that people are in large groups are actually deciding what to actually feed the populace, what information yeah, and all that. Slow. It is slow and it's not individually targeted. Yeah. I guess when we say recommendation yeah. engines, it's individually targeted rather than large yeah. segments, which is the problem. Like you look even further at recommendation engines now, such as, say, Reddit and Dig and all of the other big aggregators, they're yeah. still targeting on large segments or different segments like sure they're getting smaller and much smaller different segments but it's yeah. never the individual and I guess that's kind of the big part yeah. talking singularity style is yeah the individual right, so. yeah, well, yeah the individual. you look at the progress of like dig was all about you know here's your category it's filtered by people voting it uses yeah. the, the populace the, the crowd so it, it got to filter. actually narrow it down yeah, so that was like wow that's really like, cool here's some cool content from all this mass of the web yeah and then reddit was like hey we'll do subreddits where if you're particular you're interested in a particular niche area you subscribe to that and yeah. same method but even then like you go to our reddit you go to your reddit feed now there's like a hundred stories listed down the page yeah you might be interested in maybe five. Oh, I would probably we were about like 25 40. Well, see, that's a good ratio. No, that's, that's not bad. Like, that's, that's, why, how, that's how why it's my main site, I But guess, then yeah. how interested are you at? Like, what level yeah. of interest? Well, see, that's true. It's, it's not 
recommending it. You're not actually gaining any intelligence from what I'm clicking on and actually realizing, yeah. oh, I clicked on that, then it goes to that. Sure, a few sites have actually tried it by tracking like what you do and yeah. all and, and adjusting it, but it, it hasn't really hit. It well, so hasn't I'm not sure what the yet. technical issue is. Like on a, well, I don't think it's technical. I think it's social. I think it's very much that there hasn't been that, that one hook or there hasn't been something done. No, but see, I don't think... I think we've kind of uh, exhausted our whole uh, filtering via the masses. Right. I oh, to the very individual, yeah, to the individual, yeah, true. That, that'd be a technical like I don't, I, Yeah, I think it needs to go to the algorithm level now. But I don't know what that is. No one's really saw that out. Because, like, uh, the idea with the ultimate recommendation engine is it just gives you the content when you want it exactly. Like, not a list, just one piece of content. Here's what you want, here you go. Yeah. You don't have to search for it, you don't have to find it. But like, see, that's a, that's a long way off, though, I think. If you have enough data and you have enough. Well, see, I, I don't think it'll. Like, there may be a few. Uh, I think there already are a few systems actually doing that. I mean, you could actually say. Um, Oh, what's the bloody bookmarking thing where you say like? Delicious. Delicious. Uh, yeah, delicious, sorry. Delicious. Yeah, uh, where, yeah, it actually, it, it presents you one bit of content at a time and it learns oh, what stumble you upon. are. Stumble upon, not delicious. <laughs> I think delicious isn't right. That's the blog one. Yep. Damn it. Yeah, stumble upon, where it's presenting you one piece of content at a time. I, I still think it's going to be, in a way, probably what Google's going to try and do is present you with lots of stuff and then work it out from there. Yeah. Well, so I think this is why they I, they need to buy Facebook because <laughs> Facebook's doing this with likes. Every time oh, you yeah. like a page, that's like it. It's learning what you. Well, one thing that was great I mean, that I saw um, a TED talk got uh, recommended for me on Facebook yeah. because uh, two other of my friends had actually liked yeah. it th- liked it themselves. So I was like, See, wow, that's kind of cool. Like it was something I was interested in. But so I have a feeling they're still using that primitive method of just hey, if your other friends liked it, maybe you'll like it. Yeah, like well, it, it seems like the algorithms they're all using is just not extrapolating see, enough. I'm not sure that, about Facebook with that. I think they would actually measure about how influential that person is with compared to you. I mean, they already do that through the newsfeed, comparing on who yeah. comes on there, and so they probably see, do even the that, links even that's that way. Just, that's just based on simple data. That's I, I think that's Facebook could be a major player with the uh, recommendation engine. I think it really could because hmm. it, I don't it's, think they're doing enough with it. Oh. And not yet, but they, I mean, they're changing all the time. I mean, that feature itself is pretty new. Yeah. Anyway, I, I think that's, yeah, good to look at. So what, what do you think it'll be in 10 years? <laughs> do you think uh, they'll just open up the screen and it'll be there, or...? Well, see, so the problem is, by in 10 years, we won't have any BCI stuff, so right. it won't be able to read our minds. Right. But I think what it'll be is, it'll be pretty accurate. Basically... Because I'm hoping the semantic web will have been implemented at least to some extent by then. Yeah. So what it would be is you pull up your browser, um, or say you, you feed, whatever you want to call it. Um, it'll then look out to see what new information is being put onto the web. News, content, articles, video, whatever. And then try and find what best matches your particular algorithm. Like I yeah. think within 10 years, every single human being on this planet that is has been on the internet or is on the internet yeah. will have a dynamic unique algorithm assigned to them by, yeah. by probably multiple different companies every company yeah, everyone's going to try and get that's going to be yeah. a big platform to own that platform you own because you know, humanity yeah that <laughs> really. you control the flow of information yeah. if you have the algorithms that are the best algorithms that decide this person is this is this person so any information that comes into the internet yeah. this algorithm knows hey this person likes this information. Well, the best part with it as well is that it can grow on itself, that it actually knows that you've yeah. visited well, then, all of this information and then it changes and it says this, that say you've been yeah. reading a lot about like, you know, Google and Eric Schmidt and all of that and it redirect you to conversations and it realize what actually people thought from those yeah. conversations and it direct you to other articles. It could actually guide your thinking and guide how you'd learn, which I think is going to be a major part in 10 years. Not, not in like even the bad way, but I actually think just for learning and education wise, education wise, this could be brilliant that it knows roughly at what level you are because i mean we're talking about just you know the the roughly the entertainment factor about just getting yeah. provided information but think about you want to learn a new topic it can track every step that you take and learn yeah. where you're up to and based on any uh, already results systems that are starting as yeah well. but on the <laughs> i'll take the devil's advocate thing and i've been thinking this could potentially happen for a long time now i i, I call it hitler 2.0 it's probably a bad name but <laughs> <laughs> maybe a bit but, but, yeah. but essentially using this system um, if you control this you could essentially say here's this person here 
here's what their particular point of view is right now. I would like their point of view to be here. Yeah. And you just say that to the system and it'll automatically route them very subtly towards yeah, that particular Providing point. the bits of content that they want to yeah. actually end up that way. And they won't notice it. Like, I, like you could turn, and even like the most hardcore things, or polar opposites, Someone yeah. who thinks this particular point of view, if you want to turn them to complete polar opposite... An Apple iPhone person into an Android supporter, an yeah. Android into an iPhone thing, you just subtly start moving it. And you could do it without them noticing. Yeah. It's oh, like easily. propaganda, manipulation... Because you're trusting your feed. You, you really are putting an immense amount of trust in it. And I mean, like, you put advertising in it as well, sure. It might be like Google yeah. owners, <laughs> sponsored listings, but still. Well, that's the other brilliant thing. If everyone has a unique algorithm... Um, well, by this point, I would hope that content is in itself an ad. Yeah. There's no such thing as external advertising pointing you to particular yeah. content. That's You'd actually hard. just try and, yeah. The ad is the content. You, it's, it, it well, that's where it gets into that new your system, attention. the new, uh, attention new economy. points and yeah. stuff. Yeah, the attention economy. And well, so your ad would, it, it, again, it's, it's matching the content, which is the ad, to the person using that algorithm. Yeah. So, yeah. And it'd be brilliant. Like, if, I'm not sure that ads will go away entirely. I still think they'll be there a bit. But, I mean, Google's already pretty targeted advertising. But you could say, well, so is Facebook. You could say, only advertise the people who'd actually be interested in this yeah. product. And so you look around and it's like, oh, yes, I do need a morph suit. Thank you. I have got a rave coming up. That'd be great. And just everything really? like that. It's... They're not, I have no idea what they're not doing. Like, no, I think another simple everyone's tried it. Another like, simple example. Everyone like, is. You, you know, you started up a, there's a Halloween party coming up and you've set up yeah. an event on Facebook and you're going. Well, you can advertise that with Facebook. I'm pretty certain yeah. you could actually, yeah, they actually pick it up and stuff. I've had that before. Because you would think that a local, say, um, a local costume event hire place would throw up an ad and anytime someone has a local event... Yeah. Like in Wollongong or in your local area that is wants a particular costume it should yeah. show up and say hey you can get your Halloween costume here you know here's a discount if you use this coupon code or get you know some yeah. of your other friends involved hey there's a referral system it if you get your other friends it's pretty impressive it, it if you look at Facebook's advertising thing I went through it just the other day they yeah. have changed a lot it's that's a big part for them you hear Zuckerberg well, talk well I mean their, their, their cash flow well. they're positive now they're oh quite a bit Got making profits yeah, yeah. Last time I heard that was like quite a few months ago, it was like half a billion dollars. I mean, that's like, there must be a lot more than that right now. Yeah, must be a billion dollars at least. Oh, yeah. Sweet. So, yeah, that's like, pretty good. Ho hoping 10 years, the web will be completely dynamic, customized, yeah. personalized, just for you. We're seeing everyone do it, and I mean, the obvious two big players right now are Google and Facebook. So, let's see what happens there'll, with that. There'll be some others. Oh, yeah, there should be. It has to be. There'll be a mobile one, I think. Yeah, Very hopefully new, uh, idea. Not Foursquare, unless they do some more stuff. Yeah, a lot more stuff. Is it possible? But they they have to own the term, I guess. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Oh wait, wait. Oh yeah, we should say about the Singularity Summit coming up soon. Yeah, in Australia. Um, yeah, September tenth and eleventh, or eleventh and twelfth. Eleventh and twelfth. Seventh, eleventh and twelfth. Yeah, uh, that's tickets, right. tickets are on sale now. Um, you should get it. The it's dude organizing great. it, I think his name is Adam Falcon. He's he's pretty awesome. Chatted to me a few times. Yeah. We're definitely going. I'll book my ticket. You gotta book yours, yeah. You gotta book mine. But yeah, it's pretty definitely good. come. It's going to be epic. It's gonna be awesome. Cool. Yeah. Sweet. Oh well, this has been episode twenty-eight yep. of High Forty Five. Yeah. I'm Nathan Waters. I'm Trista Grace. Awesome. Catch you next week. Woo! See ya. Reach over with the hand and turn it on. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Right now, eh? I'll try it. Try it like this one. Mm -hmm. Success! Oh, winner!